What's going on guys, Ted from Nerd Immersion here, and this is probably going to be a fairly short D&D weekly update, but there has been a couple, a uh, little bit of news, some stuff from the makers of D&D, &D, uh, news about the D&D &D Extra Life, which is always a good time, and again, just a couple of reminders of things that are ongoing or currently happening in the D&D &D universe. So, stay tuned. Why don't we jump right in? Fairly Again, fairly light week on the news. Uh, the RPG Academy is on the D&D &D podcast. Uh, from the folks from uh, Michael Ross and Caleb. Caleb <laughs> from the RPG Academy podcast. Stop in to talk about Gen Con experience and their D&D origin, &D origin stories. And on the Lore You Should Know, Matt and Chris delve into the Zen, uh, Zentarum and the uh, Order of the Gauntlet factions and how they're going to take uh, effect in Storm King's Thunder. D&D will be at Game Hole Con in uh, November, November 4th to 6th. Uh, looks, there's going to be some cool stuff there. There's going to be a handful of uh, popular people here. Uh, Mike Merles, Jeremy Crawford, Chris Perkins. Um, the opportunity to play author-only Adventure League games, Season 5 Adventure League game premiere, uh, the Epic Adventure, D&D Open, and a track of exclusive Adventure League adventures authored by Ed Greenwood and the director of uh, Game Hole Con, Alex Kramer. Uh, features True Dragon and over a thousand total gaming events. Game registration opens September 3rd, so you still have time before it opens. Um, again, and here are the seminars that you can attend and the convention details. This is in Madison, Wisconsin. So, you know, there'll be links in the description if you want to check any of this stuff out. Uh, okay, so this is the fourth year of the Dungeons and Dragons Extra Life. I got in on year two and started watching then, and I loved it. I basically cancel my whole weekend plans whenever the Extra Life is happening and try to watch as much of it as possible. Uh, when I started watching two years ago, their whole plan was to go through in 24 hours the whole of, uh, the whole of Horde of the Dragon Queen. Uh, at that point, it was Greg Billsland was being the only Dungeon Master for 24 hours straight, and like you buying and donating would get him access to caffeine, and could alter the game and things like that. They since changed that last year. They decided to double it to a 48 hour stream with DMs and players cycling out. Uh, again, players did cycle out two years ago as well, but uh, their goal is uh, the new community has collectively raised over 200,000 for the Children's Miracle Network hospitals over the past three years. This year, we're looking to raise an additional 250, or uh, an additional 50,000 for this cause. Uh, I feel like they should raise that because I feel like that's going to go pretty quick. I think last year, the be we're going for a hundred thousand uh because they doubled it to a 48 hour stream um so maybe they're only doing 24 oh it's only 24 this year that's why uh 24 hour marathon starts at 8 a.m pacific time on september 16th and will feature six in-house teams throughout the weekend each four hour game will be live streamed on dd twitch channel we'll focus on one of the uh giant races featured in the new storyline storm king's thunder using 5e rules um, concluded at 8 a.m. on Saturday the 17th. Donors can contribute to the DMs and players and alike to grant them benefits before and during the game. Not only can donors change gameplay, but they can also swing D&D swag and exclusive content. That is something I would recommend. Um, I have been able to pick up some super awesome stuff for really cheap and also donate to a good cause. I got a bunch of minis that way. I got a uh, copy of the 5th edition Monster Manual signed by the entire Dungeons & Dragons team, which is awesome. There's a lot of really cool exclusive swag that you can get specifically through that. Um, I got myself this right here, which uh, is an official you know, Adventure League certificate here. This is the Potion of Extra Life. Um, this was from the 2015 thing. Check this out. This vial holds a green and blue liquid that constantly swirls. When you drink this potion, potion, it cures any disease afflicting you and removes any conditions. In addition, you're restored to full hit points. After using this certificate, you must cut or tear it in half. So it's a one-time use potion, but it's a full heal and a cure of all diseases and, and conditions. Uh, that was a, an Adventure League thing. I got a gelatinous cube mount, Neverwinter. You know, you get a couple of, of cool kind of ongoing things. And you can get stuff if you join the D, D team for extra life to uh, help them raise money. Sorry guys, my throat's a little sore here. And I'm out of water. Awesome. <clears throat> so let's scroll down. So here's your teams. 
Here's your DMs and your players. Uh, I gotta tell you guys, I'm a little shocked. There's a lot of people that you usually see on this list, and I don't see many of them, and uh, that's... I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there's reasons, but like... Chris Perkins typically shows up as a DM. He's not playing this year. Aaron and M. Evans, the writer of uh, the Brimstone Angels series of novels, typically shows up. Uh, you usually have a lot of these people showing up as players and then later as DMs. <clears throat> Perhaps that's only because it is going to be a 24-hour stream. Um, like Andy Munich last year uh, played a cleric or a fighter that was done with a puppet like he had a muppet that he controlled the character which is pretty cool um but here's your teams and their blocks um here's your hosts uh there will be two hosts kind of ushering you through the in-betweens and things like that you can add the DD twibbon which i have on my page if you've seen our twitter with the little extra life DD logo on the bottom um here's the extra life media kit you can visit the DD page um they're already over 10% towards their goal for this year. Uh, <clears throat> join a D&D &D group or try a digital game. Sword Coast Legends, Neverwinter, Baldur's Gate, Icewind Dale. Board games like Dungeon, Lords of Waterdeep, or Temple of Elemental Evil. You join, uh, choose the Dungeons and Dragons team. Um, and you can organize your own events to do whatever you would like to do. You can try to play during their weekend, but obviously the main focus is going to be that. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, everybody can make their own teams. What are the rewards? Uh, you tune in on September 16th. As we'll have new items available for various donation amounts. At the top of the hour. I'm oh, sorry, guys. <clears throat> As we go, we start to unlock things for uh, from Storm King's Thunder, which is great. 5k d100 table of items in a giant's bag in addition to treasure giants often possess mundane items they carry around in leather sacks or store in old chests items that are not giant sized or sized for small eating creatures uh 10k is the appendix a which is other dnd ventures on service springboards for storm king's thunder not only getting the characters to fifth level but directing them to the next location appendix d Focuses on NPCs that are referenced in Storm King's Thunder, and you can be utilized in any adventure. 20k, random wilderness encounters preview. Uh, exploring the north are likely to encounter wandering monsters. These give you the monsters. 2500, new giant option. You can customize any of the giants beyond what's represented in the monster manual. This section gives you options for all six giants. 30,000 high res maps. 40,000 is art from Volo's Guide to Monsters. Again, if they go past it, and significantly, they may add more. And here is the D100 bag of stuff you find in a giant's bag. There might be random magic items, giant-sized treasures, um, tombstone wagon meal, beehive, giant-sized drum. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. My throat is really closing up on me here. Sorry guys, I had to take a break there. Um, it says you can put in magic items as well. From the random tables, you can just choose to add them. Random coins. Giant size treasure, it says you may want to look into the encumbrance rules if they try to carry a bunch of crap. And here's the kind of mundane random stuff. A funny thing for me would be a live animal in their bag. It's kind of funny. Uh, a little bit of a sneak peek there. Uh... For example, if your characters might try to find item in magic item table B, and the party is light on water breathing magic heading into chapter 10, you might decide to include a potion of water breathing or a cloak of the manta ray. Guess there's going to be an underwater part in chapter 10, and we know it's at least 10 chapters for uh, Storm King's Thunder. Uh, Storm's King, Storm King's Thunder is now available in Neverwinter, uh, so you can actually log in. There's a couple of new zones. And you can get some cool stuff just for logging in right now. So why don't we go ahead and listen. I haven't actually watched this trailer. We'll see what this is about.
I might actually have to log in to uh, Neverwinter because honestly, I was playing a paladin after paladins came out, and it was so face roll. Like I couldn't die. I just over. I my passive heals were better than any damage I took. So maybe things are a little bit better. Uh, the makers of D&D are obsessed with Stranger Things. I feel like we talked about this possibly once before. Um, but there was a lot of discussion about, like, the Demogorgon uh, mini and things at the beginning. Um, but yeah, this is a whole article uh, with Greg Tito and Mike Merles all about how they love Stranger Things. Which, I have to comment, I have started watching Stranger Things. I'm a fan. I haven't watched it pretty... I haven't watched it too... Kind of been in and out of the room, but uh, I'm two episodes away. It's a good time. And it opens basically with a D&D scene, so that's pretty... That was good enough to kind of hook me. So, there you go. Uh, and lastly, just a reminder that the uh, D&D Live at PAX is happening. Um, there is... I can't seem to find it, but there was a, uh, a front cover of the new, uh, the new module that you get for free. And I can't seem to find it. I think it might be on the, on the Wizards website. No, but that's interesting. I think we already have, but... Um, Game Hulkon... Extra Life... Maybe a Pax West. Yeah, alright, I can't seem to find it. But, uh, yeah, there was a, an article that kind of showed you what the, the the name of the module is, but I can't seem to find it. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty good. It's uh, I, I think it will also get you to level 5, so it will get you intro into Storm King's Thunder if you need uh, assistance getting there. Uh, and then... Uh, well, that didn't even load. So, yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. Thank you again for watching, coming out, checking out the channel. You guys have been uh, coming out in droves, liking, supporting, commenting, and I do go through and read every single comment that you guys post on all the videos, and I do my very best to answer them all in a timely fashion as well. You guys can click right up here to check out Know Your Role. Uh, this is my weekly Tuesday night stream. Um, they are at a very interesting juncture in the adventure right now. They are... Uh, there's a big tournament, a fighting tournament, 16-person tournament, and uh, all the players are involved. They have all made one secondary character to play. Uh, my little sister and my wife are involved, and a handful of characters made by folks uh, in the D&D community uh, for me as the DM to control to try to take them down. So this is the first uh, little bit of intro beforehand, and then you can skip ahead to actually catch uh, what's happening in the tournament before we continue on to the second round of matches this coming Tuesday night. Right here in the Kickstarter spotlight, this is Polyhero uh, Wizard Dice. These are really unique kind of wizard-themed dice that look like wands and fireballs and things like that. And they've been blowing up. Their Kickstarter has taken off. I mean, they did this once before, but this one is going crazy. You guys have made, go on, come out and watch my video tons of times. It, you've made it my most popular Kickstarter Spotlight video. Uh, we're just shy of 800 views at this point for only being up for a couple days. Uh, so I highly recommend you check it out. And, and if you like it, go ahead and uh, subscribe. And you know what? Or not subscribe. Uh, go ahead and uh, follow and back that product. And you know what? If you do, maybe let them know that you found it from the Nerd Immersion channel. I just, you know, just to give them a little bit of a heads up. And down the bottom here is the Salsu Monkey Race on the Dungeon Master Guild. If you ever wanted to play a monkey in D&D or friends that are obsessed with monkeys and want to play a kind of bipedal anthropomorphic um, monkey race, uh, then I highly recommend you check out the Salsu. It's fairly well balanced in my opinion. I know I've seen some arguments in the comments on that video. I think it should be, you know, there's a couple of balanced things. I think it's fairly well done. Um... What do I guess? Check that out. You can always click right here to subscribe to the channel. Uh, there's a couple of more videos coming out this week. As always, there's a Kickstarter spotlight, a Dungeon Master Guild spotlight, and the D&D Weekly update every week. Uh, and I do want to just give a quick little plug to the folks at Encounter Roleplay. I have joined into their Tavern RP, and I'm having a blast. You should definitely check that out. There'll be a link in the description. And this coming Saturday... Uh, 
August 27th is their next 24 hour stream. Uh, I will be playing uh, in that campaign at 10 a.m. on Saturday the 27th, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. I will be involved in that campaign. I do not know what is going to be happening. I've heard nothing about it, but I'll be playing. So be sure to tune in and check that out. Show me a little support. Show them some support as well. Hey, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you had a great weekend, and I will see you next time.